Um, the Philippine Community Fund um, works predominantly with children that are child laborers on the Philippine dump sites and um, we have designed special education programs just for the just for child laborers and through the special education programs we've we've also had to bring in a holistic approach to the whole of their education because poverty is affecting every aspect of their lives so we start with feeding programs breakfast and lunch for them and then there's a food for school incentive program which allows the children to earn rice and food credits um, they take home a bag of groceries every Friday and that stops them from feeling that they're not um, contributing to the family's income which is great because they're earning food through doing well in school and then we have a health program which is very extensive it runs through not just for the children but also through to their families and that offers all kinds of health care but it enables the children to stay in school not have to drop out and go back and, and work on the dump sites again and uh, after we developed that, we also realized there was a huge need for social intervention because over 98% of our children have suffered uh, a loss of an immediate family. The most uh, mortality rate on the dump site is around about 45 to 50 years of age. So most children have lost a sibling or a parent and our, our social workers spend a lot of time in grief counselling. But then they do very practical help too. They, they go and visit families um, when they're in a crisis or if a, a parent has died and they now become a single parent. And they, they do things that uh, if a child repeatedly misses time off of school, they make a home visit. And sometimes they might discover simple things, like there's a hole in their tin roof and the children are sleeping in three inches of flood water during the rainy season every night. And that's why they're continuously sick and they're missing school. So then the social workers recommend that we build a roof for them. So it's very practical help. And, and just in one year, our social workers can cancel over 5,500 people. So they're really busy all the time. Uh, and um, the other module, which was the last module for, um, to be developed for PCF school children, was our livelihood module. Um, I hadn't realized when I started PCF just how um, severely malnutrition affects the mental ability and growth of a child. And we were getting to a stage with some of our children that when they were only reaching the ages of 12 to 13 years of age, they were not able academically to go on any further. They had actually reached the, the, the top of their ability. Or some of them were able to get through or would get through to high school wouldn't be able to get the academic requirements to go to college. And so we had shockwaves as a charity because we thought we were spending so much time and effort educating these children. If they're not going to get employment at the end of this, um, then we're going to send them back to the dump site. So we started to think about how we could provide employment for them and work. Um, and we looked around the dump site and we realized there's a lot of recyclable materials on the dump site that could be made into really useful products. Um, and so two years ago, that's what we started to design, products out of recycled materials materials that initially the parents are making and we're hoping to develop a, a global market and a growing market already for our products so that in three years time when the bulk of our children graduate from high school we'll be able to offer them employment making products. Yeah, certainly. Um, this bag here used to be a juice bag, and um, you put a straw in and you drink from it. But now it's a very durable, um, a very durable bag. And we make bags and satchels of all sizes, pencil cases, and we also take toothpaste tubes and we make cosmetic bags from them because they're very strong because they're lined with aluminium. And we make a lot of jewelry from. Um, uh, colored pages of magazines, but our very, very best seller and one that took us completely by surprise were these products. These are um, ring pulls, ring pull tabs from Coke cans and also from um, food cans as well. And these handbags have just been selling globally everywhere. And I, I turn down orders on a regular basis purely because we don't have enough raw material. So we have um, over half a ton of ring pull tabs that are being collected in England. We have some that are being collected um, 
uh, in, in other countries in smaller quantities in Spain and in Cyprus. We collect about a ton of ring pull tabs in the Philippines and um, our products have been selling really well um, in the UAE and what we would love to do is get a really large collection of ring pull tabs and Susan here um, has been spearheading that so um, maybe she could tell us a bit more about that. Susan, I'm, before we started this, you were telling me a fantastic story of how you got involved with, um, with the Philippines Community Fund. Do you mind explaining to us like, the story, your story? Sure. Um, it was about six or seven years ago that uh, we were reading Seven Days Magazine here in uh, Dubai, and there was a, a lead article on the Philippine Community Fund. And we saw... Um, Jane on the dump site and uh, we're reading about the, the schools that were being created and we're fascinated by what was happening and um, one of the, um, the taglines at the uh, end of the article was if you'd like to help um, you could sponsor the education of children. My husband and I thought this is exactly what we want to get involved with and uh, involve our own children in so that um, you know they can contribute as well and, and actually um, one of the, the beauties of sponsoring these children was that you get to know exactly who they are, you, you follow their progress in school, have photos of them, can communicate with them by letter. And um, so we did that for several years. And then in November of 2009, uh, when we were planning to take a trip to the Philippines, decided this is a perfect opportunity to go to PCF to meet the children that we're sponsoring and uh, contacted Jane and got her uh, approval to do that and um, went in and we were thrilled to see what uh, PCF was doing in the schools and as we were taking the, uh, the tour of the school, uh, Liney turned to us and inquired whether we knew about the livelihood programs and... Um, and so he said, no, please fill us in. What's a livelihood program? And we were taken to see these incredible products and the, uh, the jewelry and um, the plastic bag bags that are made. Um, it just very, very creative and, and gorgeous utilitarian products. And since it was just before uh, Christmas, we ended up buying all of our ho holiday gifts that way. And the reception that these products had. Not only did we like them, but everybody that we gave them to really uh, liked the products. And so um, that started my adventure with uh, PCF and it um, started initially going into schools and uh, introducing what it was that PCF has been doing. Um, so many schools now have green teams and eco clubs and kids are getting very involved in learning about recycling and sustainability and being able to take in a project like PCF and, and show how lives can truly be transformed with these um, uh, technologies has been fantastic and um, and the schools have then very graciously permitted me to sell the products at tabletop sales and I've been to different bazaars here in the UAE and the appetite for these products is is huge and every time I visit a classroom the kids are are so touched by it they jump up and and say you know what can we do to help and so on a very small scale we have had um, recycle collections in the past, um, you know, juice pouches and plastic bags and, and ring pulls and have um, sent those back to Manila. But um, when I um, met Suparna Matur, who is one of the founders of Abu Dhabi Cause Connect, she is the one who decided that it was definitely time to take it to a new level. Well, Abu Dhabi Cause Connect is a, a volunteer organization that helps to connect volunteers and uh, the volunteer energy uh, in Abu Dhabi with the organizations that really need the, the help and assistance. And one of the projects that Abu Dhabi Cause Connect has uh, jumped behind uh, with full force is Recycle for a Cause. And that is just being launched uh, right now. And um, 
our partner Alphatame Carillion has uh, sponsored the manufacture of all of these boxes and we've got um, lots of different size collectors, and the idea will be for um, participants in Recycle for a Cause, whether it is schools, universities, uh, companies, shopping malls, hotels, uh, any uh, organizations that want to participate can um, obtain the collection boxes, and they will be assigned a green ambassador who will be the liaison and we will collect the ring pulls and then also non-biodegradable plastic bags. And then all of the materials that are collected, uh, we have um, other uh, partners who will be helping us get these uh, raw materials back to PCF. And then PCF is going to transform these, uh, um, the trash into incredible treasure that we will continue to, um, to sell here in the UAE.